It's follow-up Friday with Frenchie. I hope you guys had a great week. Today we're going to talk about the Jeep and what that has to do with houses. So this weekend here in Pittsburgh, actually north of Pittsburgh, is Bantam Weekend, Jeep Fest. Bantam is one of the original places that the military built their Jeeps. And now every year thousands of people come to the Jeep Fest for the weekend. They bring their Jeeps and they do all kind of off-road courses. There's vendors. They show them off. They show up all the lifts and all the fun stuff. Jeeping is a lifestyle. We have the wave. We have the ducks. So it's really cool. Life behind bars. <laughs> it's something I've loved. I learned how to drive on an old CJ7 when I was younger with my dad, Dave. And it's always been on the bucket list to get a Jeep. So here we go. What does that have to do with houses? Well, the garage. When pulling the monster into the garage, there was the concern of how deep it was. Will two cars fit on one side? Where does all that relate? Well, it's not just for guys when people are like, I have to have a garage. I'm a mom. I need to know, is all their stuff going to fit in there? Am I going to have room for my garden tools? Am I going to have room for my car and opening doors without hitting something? Southwestern Pennsylvania, being in a warm garage when it's snowing outside in your car, not having to scrape snow, a little important for some people, including myself. So I want you to think of the different parts of a garage that's important. When you go to list your house, what do you know about the garage that you can use as a feature and selling point? Is there a drain? Does it have a slope outside? Is there a hose bib inside? Do you know where that shutoff valve is for that hose bib? Is there lights? Is it heated? Is there ventilation in case it does have some kind of heating compress into it? You're going to hear some noise in the background, so just kind of excuse it for right now because of course, when Frenchie does her videos, life happens, right? So it's garbage day, but that's what makes it fun. I'm real. It is what it is. Back to the garage. When I tell people and they're looking for their garages, just like when I point out features in a home, I try to point out the important features in the garage. Is there space in that garage to maybe put a lift? There are these really cool pulley systems now that you can put in that have a shelf, and then you pull the system up to pull all of your junk back up. You lower it down, pull that Christmas decorations up, and you put it back up. Then your cars can go right underneath of that. How cool is that? You have extra storage and you didn't even realize it. Is there room to put shelving on the side? Are there buildings already in the garage? Are there windows there? Are they sealed? You can still get air in and out of there and then in and out of your house. What kind of garage are you looking for? One that's underneath, integral garage attached on the same space as your living floor or the same level as your living space. Detached garage. It's okay. At least your car is covered, but you have to walk outside to get to it. Is a carport considered some sort of garage? All of these details matter and you want to talk to your realtor about what that home offers, what that home offers when it comes to your parking situation. Some people, it just doesn't matter. They're city people. They have bicycles. It, it's just not an important factor to them. For this mama, it is. I don't want to do steps. I want maybe one or two and I'm right into my living space. I don't want to drag groceries in and out. I want to be able to put my refrigerator outside. So I have to have electric in my garage. I might buy a new toy and have to have two cars on one side and one on the other. So all important details when you're looking for your home. So think of the factors that are important when you're buying a home when it comes to the garage. And that way, when you go into it, you're already ready to go with what you're looking for. I hope you guys had a really great week. I'm excited for this weekend. I have a new client. I'm meeting a new client actually up at Bantam. Give me one more second. The garbage truck's going by. I'm always looking to do business just because when I meet people, people become friends, friends become clients, or if I meet clients, they become friends. So if you're up at Bantam, give me a call this weekend. I'd love to meet up with you and maybe we'll do some off-roading together. Have a great weekend. I love what I do. I know you will too. See you guys next week.